And hello everybody, this is kind of an interesting video. Uh, this is the, one of the things that you wake up to sometimes when you have a YouTube channel. I was accused of stealing my own video. Um, so let's take a look at the situation. Um, just a quick shout out to my members. I don't have the, the slide in here just because this is not a normal tutorial, just kind of me ranting a little bit. Um, so I apologize for that, but thank you guys for your support. So yeah, so I woke up this morning and uh, here's what I saw on my YouTube channel. Now, I just before I, I went to bed last night, I got this copied video and I wrote back, of course, you know, copied from where, uh, this is the original and you'll see that person replied, shut with some inappropriate language up mate. Just cause you have no talent doesn't mean you can copy people's work. This is copied from free code camp getting reported. And what this person is referring to would be this, uh, here on free code camp, you can see that they have pong. And I'm going to scroll down and it says Python game tutorial Pong. And uh, they published this in December of 2018. Uh, so that's, that's what this person is referring to. So let me go and show you my response to that. So I actually, actually I responded on my channel, but I want to delete that because it does have bad language and you'll see why here in a second. So I went and I found this person's channel and I just, posted on their channel, just a quick response. And I just wrote, uh, yeah, I'd appreciate it if you're going to comment on my channel that you use proper language, avoid dropping F bombs. If at all possible, I teach middle school students and I'd rather keep the language clean for them. I have students right now in middle school following my tutorials. Um, they don't need to see that. And then regarding your accusation of me copying my own video from another source, if you watch the free code camp video, it is exactly the same because they used my video. With my permission, of course, this is how free code camp works. Uh, if you look at free code camp, they don't make their own content, at least not that I know of, or maybe they don't make a lot of it. They find videos that they like, they think would be good for their audience. And they contacted me and said, Hey, we'd like to, you know, edit your video and, you know, put it up and use it. We'll put a link back to you and everything more than happy to you know, donate whatever my time effort, whatever that is. Uh, and I'm sure I get a lot of viewers from free code camp and I'm very grateful they, they chose that. So if you look back here at the, uh, yeah, the free code camp page, you'll see right here, it actually has my name, Tokyo EdTech. If you go down to the, you know, the, the, in the comments here, the, the description, it has a link to my website, which is now down, but I got to fix that. It actually has a link to the, my YouTube channel. So this person needed to do a little bit more of research. So let me go back, finish my response. Um, yeah, if you watch the free code camp video, the second line of my code says buy at Tokyo EdTech. That's me. Uh, in the description, it also has a link to my channel under my original name. Some of you have been around for a while, you know I switched from using my name name to Tokyo EdTech. Um, also note, I published my video in August of 2018. Free Code Camp published theirs in December of 2018. That would be a good trip to copy a video that didn't exist. So do a little fact checking next time and save us both, save both of us the effort mate. Uh, and there's some links to, I like to be thorough and here are the links. So let's go take a look at that real quick. Um, so again, here's the Free Code Camp version. Again, note December 20th, 2018. Note, here is my version posted on August of 2018. And uh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty obvious. Now, just for those of you who don't have a YouTube channel, you're curious about how the, some of these things work. Um, you know, copyright violation is a very common thing. It's, it happens all the time. And uh, I get notifications. If somebody takes the actual video, uh, YouTube will for me. They will, they have this thing where they, they are constantly scanning for people using your stuff. And you get these little notices and it says, hey, you know, we found your video. And you can see over here how much of their video is taken from your video. And you can request a removal. You can message. I, you know, in a case like this, I just, you know, I just let it go. It's not a big deal. Um, but what I do find, I think with my tutorials in particular, is if I search, if I go, so for example, if I say Python Pong tutorial, and I filtered this by just this month, and because people are constantly, people are constantly using my, my code, which doesn't bother me so much, but just, you know, hey, give a little credit where credit's due. Now I looked down through here earlier before I recorded the video. Um, this person, I think basically copied my code, uh, but they did enough 
that's different that I really feel that they made it their own. So I don't feel like this person copied from me. I feel like they remixed it and added their own ideas and it was really an original piece of work. Um, yeah, I don't, this person actually is a really good coder. Uh, check I, I, it's him or her, Ronak. Uh, yeah, did a lot of really nice stuff with this video. But you can also see if you look closely, they also have Space Invaders. So I'm sure they use my code at least as a an inspiration, let's say. And I do the same thing. Nobody nobody invents all this stuff on their own. Everything's a remix. A friend of mine wrote a really good book about it. I'll see if I can put a link down below. Um, about how creativity and where we get our ideas from. I should check that out if you get a chance. And then there's my platformer thingy, which is coming up. And if I scroll down a little bit more, um, looking at this, I know this is pretty much my program um, because it looks just like what I coded. They changed the colors, which was nice. That was, that was a nice little touch. But if I go into this, and I do this a lot, uh, as I look, and you, if I look at this code, this is the exact, I mean, line for line. The only thing this person did was change the name of the paddle. So instead of paddle A, they used P1. Instead of paddle B, they used P2. Instead of ball, they used BP. Um, but, you know, it's the exact same order, exact same structure, ex basically exact same spacing. So clearly this person has used my code. And let's see if we got uh, any credit. And no, of course not. So what I'll do is I'll put a little thing here. I'll just say, hey, you know, I know she used my code. I don't mind it. Everything I do is Creative Commons. You know, I, I hope people use it. But I just do appreciate a link back and just, you know, hey, I got the basic idea from Tokyo EdTech. Uh, check his channel out. Blah 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 blah. Uh, yeah. So that was, uh, yeah, that was my that was my morning. Um, so you know, just a couple lessons from this is, you know, if you're going to accuse somebody of something. Do your research uh, and just make sure that you are correct. You know, if somebody does copy something, if you do see somebody copying something, say, hey, notice you copy this from X source, here is a link. Yeah, you might want to give that person credit. Okay, we, we can do this. People can copy stuff and we can do it in a nice, polite way that makes it better for everyone. And, you know, when people do give me a link back, I do sometimes say, hey, check out what so-and-so did with my code. They did a really nice job with it. Um, so we, we can all help each other and respect what each other's effort and each other's work. And, uh, yeah, make the world a better place. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Just a little bit of a rant. I know it wasn't a tutorial, but uh, these things kind of happen. Uh, it's kind of funny, but you know, I just I didn't I didn't really appreciate the swearing just because again I do teach uh, young children, and I'm gonna delete that comment now that I've made the video. So anyway, everybody else, you know, respect the creators, and uh, yeah, keep on coding. Take care.